And don't be afraid to make shadows dark. That really brings uh, dramatism to the image. Just some smoothing here and there. I'm also going to add a little bit shadow on the light side because um, the fruit is rounded so even if this area is hit by the light pretty intensely it doesn't uh, reflect the light straight into the viewer so it seems a little darker than the highlighted area Whoops. I'm also going to zoom out a bit maybe a little more, more roundness on this area here Something like that. Okay. And still smoothing out this area here. Just a little. Okay. Maybe I took out a little bit too much. And then to the branches here, or leaves, or whatever they are. Just like this. That should do it. Okay. Next we need to get rid of the extra shadows here on the edges. That can be done pretty easily by uh, selecting the alpha channel of the color layer. Just right click and alpha to selection. And next I'm going to invert the selection. So that should leave us um, a selection of everything that is not colored and then I'm going to move to the lightning lighting layer and just press delete and close this selection and there we have it. okay I think the drawings pretty much done except for the second light that I promised to show Many artists use uh, colored lighting to bring personalized touch to feeling uh, items. So we could use a intense red, for example. And just um, go into the lighting layer and, for example, the red light could be somewhere on the lower right side. Just take a low opacity brush pretty smooth uh, and just think where the light would hit for example here and maybe a little bit here like so it's pretty intense red I need to smooth it out a bit with the black with 
and the black color. So, okay, that's a little bit too intense. And again, a little bit, bit more black. Black fixes everything. Almost. Okay. Like so. It seems like there's some red light here. I'm still not satisfied with this very area here. Maybe a little bit more light. Soften it a bit more. Still not done. Okay, I think that's it. Um, you can also use different modes for the lighting. I used normal here, but uh, I know people who use overlay. It gives a softer look. It doesn't affect the color so much. And also hard light is one of my favorites. You can control the opacity now that the lighting is on different layer. For example, 75 could be okay. Oops. 75. Like so. And uh, of course, the benefit of using layers is that um, you can edit it after you have drawn it. I mean, uh, for example, if I wasn't satisfied with the color here, I could simply use the color tools, such as a hue saturation tool, to change the base colors. I could uh, change the hue, for example red. I could uh, change the lighting to brighter or I could change the saturation to grayish, almost metallic like. But for now I think this one is quite finished. We can also uh, hide the background. If we, for example, want to use this in a computer game, we could hide the background and, and then crop this image to, for example, so it could make a nice icon for second grade role-playing game where it would probably cause horrible diarrhea or something like that. But yeah, that's about everything I have to say about coloring and layers. Thanks for your interests, everyone.